isolation interviews when you're stuck at home and there is there's nothing, nothing to do. do there's isolation interviews for you with all your favorite artists i promise i'll make a better one next week so today's <laughs> guest is an actor dancer musician writer the list just goes on she's also a great friend of mine and I'm lucky enough to be able to have a quick chat with her and see what she's up to. Let's find out how she is. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing well. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. What's been happening today? I've been, oh, I've been trying to learn guitar, play guitar. Really? Cool. Tell me about that. I've just been failing at it. Like, it's too, it's so hard. You know, playing the ukulele is one thing yeah. and then trying to do guitar is a completely different thing what's well, been so. your method of learning just like youtube and stuff or youtube and like googling images of chords and then making said chords cool um yeah just like a basic strum here and there yeah nice. but it's a it's a work in progress <laughs> everything is that's awesome you got to start somewhere right like have to yeah. um so I've got a little, I don't know if you saw my last interview, but the, the one common thread I'm going to have with all of them is just the little quick four question answer as quickly as you can thing. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. to start us off, I want to know your favorite color, number, film, and artist as quickly as you can without thinking. Go. My favorite color is green. Oh, awesome. like an emerald green. My favorite number is nine. It's my birthday. Cool. Um, my Favorite artist, Stevie Nicks. Mm, cool. You asked for my favorite movie. That's a hard one because I'm an actress. Oh, I'm an actress. <laughs> yeah, I love, I love, <laughs> I love movies. And like people who know me know I'm like a movie fanatic. So yeah. like choosing just one is like sacrilege to me. All right, give me five then. Give me like your hit list. Uh, so. The Wes Anderson's The Grand Budapest Hotel. Um, Dan in Real Life with Steve Carell in it. Good. Um, Inglorious Bastards, Quentin mm -hmm. Tarantino. Oh, God. Um, we'll just say Lord of the Rings trilogy because yeah, I love sweet. Lord of the Rings. Cool. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. There That's go. pretty extensive. I like that. Um, so you mentioned guitar. You've been learning guitar. How else have you been keeping busy in this like crazy time we're living in? Uh, I've been doing a lot of painting and drawing recently. Cool. Um, I just, I'll try and do something different every day. Um, yeah. But I've been doing a lot of uni work because I've had uni classes every day. So we've been doing like Shakespeare monologues and um self-tape auditions and stuff like that so yeah that's been keeping my mind you know the clogs turning and stuff yeah sweet so you mentioned uni um you're in your third year tell me about your course well i'm doing um acting for stage and screen at fed uni cool. it's pretty good it's basically you know we learn a whole bunch of skills so we can go out and become actors so like voice maybe vocal training and dance training and acting, which is like theater acting training. At the moment we're doing um, screen acting, but the whole, because of you know, the pandemic and isolation, everything's kind of been thrown up into the air. So doing an acting course online mm. has been quite difficult. Have they been able to facilitate you guys? Obviously it's very different to going in there and being in person and working in a group environment you know artists bouncing off each other is very important but have you found it okay or not really um like some classes have been really good um it was a lot better than i thought it was going to be like we did shakespeare monologues the other day and it was actually yeah they went quite well because you know the groups usually aren't too big so it'll be myself and maybe like three others um it's a lot harder when it's like a group of like 20, mm. which is a bit, you know, which is doesn't ha happen very often, but yeah, we just sort of roll with the punches, I guess. So 
you mentioned guitar you mentioned the fact that you're doing uni what have you been consuming what content have you been like getting your head around like watching reading listening to oh i've been um i have all the streaming websites so like stan and netflix but i've been watching sbs on demand they have like a really cool bunch of eclectic movies on there yeah right um and I watched this movie the other day called The, the Clouds of Sil, Sil Maria, Sil, Sils Maria, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, okay. But it has, has Kestu and Juliet Binoche in it. It's a really good movie. Interesting. Yeah, right. Um, I, I listen to Spotify all the time. So I've yeah. just been like finding new artists and peoples. Never knew who she was. She's great. Inform me. I don't know either. She um, she wrote this song called I Can't Stand the Rain and it's like my bop at the moment. Yeah, okay, nice. Um, really good, really good song. Um, yeah, and I do have an affinity for like movie soundtracks. Yeah, cool. So if I'm listening to it, I've probably heard it on a TV show or a movie. That's really cool. So with uni... Are you still there as many days as what you were? Or has it been lessened? Yeah, so there Monday to Friday yeah. so far. Um, Every day, that's intense. It's a lot of time to be staring at a screen. It is. Mm. Um, the hours are less though, so it's, it's better on us. I'm on that as well. Obviously, you can't do any shows at the moment, which I know is a big part of your life but is there anything that maybe you were work, working towards or you are working towards for when this is all over? What's next? Um, we were doing a show called Embers. Well, we still are. Um, we, re we just auditioned for them. So we had to film some self tapes and send them into our director on Thursday, which I did, um, which I had to do many takes of because I just kept stuffing up. Mm. Um, nice. But we're still we're still doing that. It's just it depends. Apparently, like face to face teaching goes back in July or something. Yeah. So okay. we do like That's online fine. monologue work, and then when face to face, you know, happens, we'll like work on scenes and small groups, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, we get to perform in September. Yeah. Cool. So will in that will your role be purely performance based, or are you doing any writing or directing in that show have no idea yet yeah okay no clue like What's we've only just well i no no writing i don't know what i would write but i always like to work on if i can like costuming or like a little bit of music yep. or sounds and that fun um and even just like helping the director with like organization because I like to control things. <laughs> yeah, cool. <laughs> That's a good answer. Have you been doing any like solo? You said you've been learning guitar, you've been doing some paintings. That's really awesome. Have you been doing anything else? Like what, have, what else have you been creating if you have been? I've been creating. What have I been creating? I've been doing, I don't know if you've seen, I've been doing a lot of ukulele covers on Instagram lately. Yeah, love them. Really cool. <laughs> um, what else? Oh, I was actually, before this, like, before everything happened, I was writing my own um, student, student fest show. Cool. I was so, I was so excited for it. It was, like, basically the premise of it. It was, like, a movement poetry piece yeah, right. about intimacy and I asked you I remember I asked you if you could write me some music for it this is true and I did do that yeah. is yeah. that still something yeah. that's going to go ahead or you're not sure oh, I'd like to I it's hard because like we're not doing those shows anymore they've been cancelled mm. but it could possibly be something I do in the future yeah exactly like the idea is already there You've got the framework, yeah. so that's cool. I guess that's why I was asking if, about writing particularly because, yeah, I know that you've dabbled in songwriting and maybe poems and stuff, but 
yeah writing and directing and possibly starring in and scoring your own show just seems like a perfect fit for you so yeah if you check and if you've got anything in the works that's going to be happening in the future you know i think that if anything if i do do anything it'll be like next year sometime yeah write something next year i don't think i'd be directing and scoring and acting in it well that's why you're bringing too much. friends right like yeah bring I'll, in people yeah i'll get someone else to score i maybe I'll, i maybe i won't star in it like if i write it i don't know i feel weird about being interesting in it. so you, why why do you think you draw that line i think i'd li- yeah i'd like to focus all my energies into one mm. into one sort of space and that usually works for me because if i you know if i divide my attention the in my case usually the quality of my work goes down yeah okay so if i'm just directing it i can like see it yeah and then get the actors to do what they want but yeah. putting a label on oneself is sort of silly but if you had to pick your front running thing that you love doing and that maybe you want to be known for which one would it be acting yeah okay <laughs> yeah Why? i go to uni for it so i love it i love yeah. it i don't know you can't put I don't know, I can't put a name, I can't really describe what, like how it makes me feel, but I just, I know that that's what I want to do. Mm. So, yeah. Cool. So tell me then about your process when it comes to acting and the attention to detail and it's probably, it's probably a lot, but just give me a little bit of insight. Big. <laughs> yeah. I, it's a big process, like, you know, getting cast in a role or something, just like everyone goes about it differently, but I don't know, like basically I'll read the script or read the, yeah, read the script. Um, and then I'll read it again. And then I'll go through and just look at my character's lines. And then I don't know, try and relate them to myself in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Draw that connection. So, yeah. So things feel more true. Um, awesome. But yeah, there's just, there's so much sort of preparation that goes into that. And yeah, naturally. I think a lot of it is in the heart. Yeah, the heart, so. Beautiful. I love that. <laughs> love that answer. Um, where, where would you, I mean, I guess this, this year or this couple of months or however long it's going to be has sort of um, changed everyone's ideas of themselves and where they possibly could be in the next, oh, let's say two to five years, but regardless of what's happening where do you see yourself where do you think you'd like to be well i would i would like to have an agent that'd be great that'd be fantastic um but like more importantly than that i'd like to be working on a show or in a show or helping create a show beautiful just anything creative really do you think you prefer the stage or the screen Oh, I, I've only, I haven't really worked screen that much. So it's hard to say, um, definitely done more stage, stage work. Yeah. I do love, I do love live theatre. Um, but I do definitely want to expand, expand my horizons when it comes to screen, because we've only just started working on it. Like I've only just like picked up screen this year and like my knowledge has just exploded yeah so just working more on that would just be amazing totally it's it's a lot of fun as well yeah absolutely yeah there's so many so many avenues that i think you could go down which is just so cool and i I can relate to the fact that and i feel like over the last three years for you your your mind has just like expanded so much and the the vision maybe you have of yourself has grown just through the knowledge you've been able to take in from the people around you that's really awesome yeah it's crazy isn't it hells yeah so i this is the first thing i asked you and i did this last time i want to ask it again and i feel like it's the most important thing is just how are you like day to day how are you staying sane are you sane like do we need to be worried <laughs> you know <laughs> Yeah, like for the most part, I'm good. Like it sucks. It sucks because, you know, I'm sure 
everyone else feels the same way that, you know, you had sort of a vision of where you'd be at this point in the year and all of your, all of your stuff kind of gets, you know, mucked up and, um, mucked up and you don't know sort of what's happening. Um, but I consider myself lucky because, you know, in many ways, because, you know, I have a house to live in and I have food and water. So whenever I'm feeling like really hopeless like that, I just zoom out and think yeah. of the world in whole. And totally. then I feel, I feel better. It's quite humble. Um, yeah, but I've just been, you know, I have a great family. I have a great dog. Mm. I've got great friends. Um, so connecting with them um, and also being able to still do uni and draw and paint and write and sing and, you know, do whatever I want creatively is, you know, keeping me pretty sane. So. Beautiful. Yeah. That's awesome. And, yeah, I'm glad to hear that you're doing well and that, there's lots of positivity coming through in your energy and the way you're talking about the, the love that you have for what you're doing and what you're going to be doing. So it's really cool. Oh, cheers. Well, thank you so much for you're very welcome. Time. Yeah. Really appreciate it. And it was lovely to catch up and have a chat. Yeah. It's good to see you too. Um, oh, I, I'll show you some drawing. I did trivia on yesterday with the fan yeah. and came last wasn't yeah. my finest moment but i st I've started doing this thing called a one-line drawing awesome. where you you put the pen on paper and then you can't lift off the pen until you're done cool. and so <laughs> i did a self-portrait and i showed my family and they thought it was fucking terrifying so, <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome oh my god <laughs> so, so there's this one this is a portrait of me and then I, I did one of like the whole family. Like they look so cursed, <laughs> but I, I love them. It's pretty impressive that not taking the pen off the paper, honestly. This is my brother-in-law. He actually yeah. thought it was all right. It's like, like the, the least weird one. I agree with that. Whoa, <laughs> <laughs> that's next level. And then I, actually, I drew one of my dog, which I yeah. thought was not too bad. That's not too bad. Grab the one of you again. <laughs> I, I, def, I think I want to finish the interview with it. <laughs> when Sorry, I'll, I'll try. Later. I'll do that. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. That's so good. <laughs> Isolation <laughs> interviews <laughs> when you're stuck <laughs> at home <laughs> and there's nothing to do. There's isolation <laughs> interviews <laughs> for you. I was like, I was gonna do one of you. Good idea. I could, li I could literally do one of you right now. Yeah, do it, please. All right, let me grab my pen and paper. Awesome. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, fuck, I forgot, I forgot you and everything. All right, there we go. A little bit of a cheat. You ready? Three, uh -huh. two, one. Nice. <laughs> That's so good. You, I feel like you really captured my essence. That's awesome. Yeah, I was a real quick one, but yeah, it kind of looks like um, like a holy, a holy yeah. thing. Like a halo. Is that where you're going? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a holy thing. It looks like a holy thing. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I love that. Um. Yeah, so now you can interview yourself.